Hello out there. First of all, please accept my warm greetings in this new year. And this time we have taken a bit of time to come up with our new video. Uh, because of two reasons. First, I wanted to have a kind of, uh, you know, uh, uh, video before you, which will be, you know, helpful to you and real exploiting a real life scenario. Okay, so I'll be starting this video with a question for you. And the question is very much simpler. And uh, it's all mentioning about, you know, uh, the kind of uh, thing like uh, if there is two function, one function is designed to increment uh, a variable by suppose 100 lakh times and another variable is are designed to decrement the same variable by 100 lakh times. So what would be the ultimate uh, value of X? I think it is not a brain teaser. It is very simple out there. And it will be your most of you will answer that it will be one. Okay, uh, the whatever the initial value of the variable, it, it will be increased by the same amount and then decreased by the same amount. So value has to be remain same. So uh, before uh, jumping into the you know answer, uh, it is uh, like saying that is it possible in a race that all are coming uh, finishing the uh, touching the finishing line at same time, if that would happen then how will you decide the winner who is going to win who is uh, who will be declared as a winner this happens sometimes in our real uh, life scenarios uh, and uh, i'll be sure show, show, uh, showcase you a few of my uh, you know uh, crafted uh, programs at the same time there will be a web application which will be displaying the same thing for you but stay tuned uh, before you actually jumping into this, uh, that case so uh, today the topic of uh, you know agenda is uh, time of check to time of use like uh, whenever a particular uh, function is try to access a shared variable you know two functions suppose two processes try to uh, access the same variable then what would happen if there is you know no lock is uh, given over there now most of you must be understanding or wondering what is a lock so let's try to you know run this program to clear that so i'll be running this uh, you know race with me dot pi uh, with the same question which i have put you know in my uh, screen uh, sorry in my introduction screen that what would happen if a variable is incremented by the same amount and then decremented by the same one you see it's a, a very basic python program and using the concept of threading and there are two threads one thread is one function is add and second function is subtract one but you see that uh, while running the function while running the program it is uh, you know giving me different values of x so why that so you must uh, many of you must be uh, saying that it is because of you know uh, because i am using python 2 and which is you know notorious for various kind of bugs so that's why it is happening uh, no absolutely not so let's try to emulate this program in the latest version of Python, that is uh, Python 3.10.7, which is installed in my Windows system. And uh, I hope uh, in that case also, uh, you would be able to you know, figure out that there is something miss in the uh, expected result, which should not be there. Okay, so here is my window-based program, uh, window-based uh, Python latest version. The moment I'll uh, run this thing, Okay, I'll show you the Python version over here. It is 3.10.7 and uh, I hope it is clear that I'm just running on the up to date and I'm just using the program in a different way. Okay, now this time I'll be taking two arguments and I'll just try to increase it by different different number of values. Okay, uh, when one time I'll be increasing by five and another, another function will try to increase by 10. And I'll be just uh, trying to run this program using uh, two threads, T1 and T2. And let's see what's the output. The output will be totally different. I'll be putting up all this program in my GitHub repo for the experimenters at, at your side. And uh, so that you can also understand and have a look that why it is happening uh, like this. So actually, uh, the basic thing is uh, that that uh, the topic of today is, uh, you know, is about a condition when multiple threads try to access a shared data and try to change it at the same time you know this this is the era of uh, multi threading and multi you know processing so there is a concept of thread settling and if thread settling happens 
then you never know that which thread will try to attempt the access data first okay and therefore there, there is a result in the change of data in the dependent on the thread settling algorithm so in short both the threads are basically racing against each other to change or access the data okay so i have cleared with uh, two uh, with two basic uh, native programs from python but you may ask that uh, do we really you know find this kind of uh, program in our real life that is in the web web applications or the bug bounties or the pen testing do you find this kind of thing so i'd be saying yes we do find but uh, you know exploiting the same would be you know it's not as easy as it sounds so for that i'm just uh, coded a very simple basic program that is a security bank uh, with two users jeffrey and rosa and both have certain amount of uh, money in their account which you can see and i've created a you know transfer button for that uh, sorry i think there is some goof off okay the so transfer button for that and i'll show you that uh, whether these transfers are working fine according to their uh, they are created or developed at the back end so this is absolutely um, now see uh, it's very much clear that only uh, roger can you know uh, transfer an amount to um, jeffrey uh, let's try to transfer amount one so transfer is successful let's try to transfer you know uh, something from uh, like if uh, you try, try to transfer some negative amount, then I have uh, put in checks like invalid parameters involved. Uh, at the same time, if I try to, uh, you know, try to transfer an amount which is beyond the scope of a account holder, then it will say insufficient balance for operations. Now, this is the case of a bank. So it is absolutely wo uh, working fine as per designed. Okay. Now, let's try to exploit it in a way that, you know, we can transfer the disproportionate amount of, uh, you know, uh, rupees from one account to another account. So, is it possible? Now, for every web application pen testing, I think the Bob shoot is a better, uh, better way to, you know, uh, intercept the uh, request. So, I'll be firing up my Bob shoot in the back and I'll try to, you know, intercept the request uh, while doing the same while transferring the amount from one user to another user okay so uh, uh, I think I have fired it and in the short time it will just come up uh, just bear with me for some time and uh, in the meantime I'm just chugging you know just doing certain fudging uh, for people now I have just tried try to you know transfer a few more amounts you can see uh, balances okay this is a thousand and zero okay i think there was some goof up in uh, uh, okay <clears throat> so it was actually basically uh, you know getting now see it's a zero and thousand that was very successful okay so let's try to let's try to intercept the request uh, from the bob okay i've already fired my bob and i'll be i have taken the request uh, to into the interceptor uh, to the uh, you know and let's try to uh, take this request in our repeater tab of bob shoot and try to fudge with it okay so i'll be just uh, taking this uh, thing and uh, in this particular video i'll be introducing you one more plugin of uh, bob shoot that is turbo intruder it is a great way to you know exploit uh, the scenarios where multi threads or multi processing uh, you know uh, uh, functionalities are required so this is the uh, repeater thread and i'll be just forwarding this request and you can see that while um, you know reloading the application at back i'll be finding that yes uh, the account of uh, jeffrey uh, sorry account of roger jeffrey is properly deducted with the amount in valid parameters because i have tried to you know uh, try to transfer my negative uh, amount from one now let's try to uh, transfer thousand rupees again back to uh, from account zero to account one okay so let's see what is it's it, it is showing with the response because uh, i was trying to follow the redirection but since i have not you know uh, it was now see while well, i've tried to uh, you know reverse the account transferring from uh, one to zero then it is not happening if i'll try to uh, transfer the account 
thousand from account zero to account one and pushing it to a plugin which I have just mentioned that is a turbo intruder and this is the turbo intruder I have just using a script uh, that is called raise.py and uh, it is just uh, showing you uh, that the way that I can you know uh, because what I was try what I'm trying here I'm trying that uh, what would what would happen if I try to you know uh, repeat this request uh, for uh, 30 times okay will it uh, bring any change in the account balance so I'll be showing that so you know uh, you can see that uh, I have uh, set the concurrency th um, you know I just want to run 30 concurrency thread and uh, 100 connections at a time and let's try to you know uh, place the attack button and see what is happening okay so I have done it and let's again go back to our application and see is there any change that we have uh, you know we could have brought it there uh, so okay so this is uh, let's reload this page and yeah so this is only one time okay no matter I tried to do it for uh, uh, 30 threads, uh, threads but uh, it is not changing the output uh, before us okay so what we could do there what is that you know that is uh, stopping these two process to you know access the same shared uh, you know resources because ultimately the amount is deducting getting detected from one account and getting credited to another account so what is deducting it okay so what I'll be doing here you know every everyone uh, I'll just show you the you know source code of bank in a short while uh, whenever there is a, some kind of you know uh, uh, you know login like this kind of features is only available uh, after you log in into your account okay so obviously uh, the bank uh, will definitely create it uh, will create some kind of session for you so what I'm doing it I'm just removing the session okay and trying to add a random uh, header like random percentage as this is just the plugin requirement so it is nothing new you can go and read in the github about uh, you know uh, turbo intruder and uh, let's try to do the same okay execute the same request again and i'll show you this time you will be very much surprised that why it, uh, what had happened so you can see see now I'll just reload the page and you can see that one Roger is having 3000 whereas the Jeffrey is having minus 2000 okay so there is a thousand rupees deficit so it is happening within the thousand rupees range only but at the same time we have seen that negative values is not allowed so how come one is having more balance than it is required another having the less balance than it is required okay zero it is having the minus 2000 so uh, by removing the PHP session ID or the cookie value what we are doing we are allowing that resources to be accessed by each and every uh, threads of the process at the same time so I'll be showing you see I am using a session start whenever session starts what PHP does basically PHP is, uh, creates a random session and it locks the process so when you lock the process it doesn't release until you unset the session okay for unsetting the session again you have to uh, you know call like session destroy or okay this kind of function from php then only uh, session get killed okay which i'm not doing here so what i just i what i just did i just removed the php uh, uh, cookie php session id cookie so since there is no cookie so there is no lock so same variable can be accessed by multiple resources so whichever, whichever thread is faster enough they will try to access the resource and try to make the necessary changes okay so this is the explanation for this unexpected result okay and this I have uh, found in a web application uh, in a mobile applications where actually uh, one coupon code was required or invite code was required and that was only uh, you know applicable to user for one use but due to this kind of vulnerability I tried to use that coupon for 10 times and I was credited well and at the same time it fetched me a good bounty from that particular program i'll not name it because there is an nda it's a not a i'll not say it a bounty but it was a good find in a private program okay now what if i don't want to remove that uh, php session id cookie what else we can do so let's try to you know rerun the uh, turbo intruder plugin and see if there could be something done now again i've run my turbo intruder plugin 
and let's uh, go back to our you know uh, bank uh, front page the account page and you can see that i have uh, put a hard code uh, cookie this time and uh, instead of the uh, you know that's a dynamic cookie which is created by session underscore start function and this time if we see that you can see that the high amount is totally different in presence of cookie it is 29,000 and 30,000 20 minus 20,000 30,000 so this kind of unexpected result is there because of in presence of a hard cookie and in presence of a uh, in absence of a cookie so cookie is the thing that which basically acts as a lock for this kind of function okay so this is this is the video this is the uh, now you have understood that we have uh, talked about uh, you know the rest condition uh, vulnerabilities so rest condition you can uh, definitely expect uh, in different kind of web application so you have to keep your eyes open and you just try to you know uh, one more application i would like to mention and i'll show in my next video there was an ad, there was an application which allows an admin user to create only four accounts but due to the vulnerability i was able to create more than four accounts okay in that account in that particular uh, uh, application so keep your eyes open guys and uh, uh, try to use these things and at the same time uh, look at uh, the uh, plugin of uh, bob suit that is the turbo plugin it will be a great help to explore this kind of scenarios and uh, uh, so far you are giving awesome love to my channel and keep uh, sharing your love to me and uh, I'll be coming up with this kind of uh, interesting video in future also. So have a great night and thank you. Bye bye.